Might as well get started. Obviously, you guys know I'm Cody from Garnish and Gather. You found my account, so thanks for joining. Um, as a reminder, I'm doing this as part of um, At Home with USA Water Polo. They're trying to get um, the kids still involved, even though they can't get in the water, just finding home activities to do. And so I decided, or they allowed me to do a cooking tutorial for you guys. So I'm going to make my peanut butter chocolate granola bars. Um, they're so good. There's no cooking involved. It's all, you just mix it in a bowl and throw it in the refrigerator and then you have granola bars. They're so good. Um, the sort of story behind this recipe is that I used to buy, or I still do, I buy like the Kashi, I think it's Kashi, I don't know, <laughs> granola bars. And it's like $6 for a pack of six, which I was thinking, I'm like, they're mostly oats. Why are they so expensive? So I was like, I'm just going to buy my own. Um, or I'm gonna make my own, and then I made, it probably took me like 10 tries to get this recipe, um, but now it's perfected, so let's make it together. First thing we're gonna do, obviously, is wash our hands, so everyone, if you're making this with me, make sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Not the first time you've heard that in the past two weeks, I'm sure. And if you're not making this, then you're just watching me wash my hands. <laughs> and that's okay. Alright. One second. Alright. What are you making? We are making peanut butter chocolate granola bars. And they're so good. Alright. Yeah, I'll try to answer it throughout this whole thing. If you guys have questions, just comment and then I'll try to read and <laughs> do this all at once. So it'll be fun. Um, I'm going to put my apron on if you guys have an apron. Put it on if you'd like. This is my favorite one. My friend Sarah gave it to me. Um, all right. So before we get started, I'll show you guys... The ingredients here so all right so I wrote it down in um, online in my blog post but this is what we're working with we have old-fashioned oats it's two cups of oats you can use gluten-free ones um, to make this recipe gluten-free if that's what you wish to do we have ground cinnamon um, cocoa powder slivered almonds coconut oil this is two tablespoons we had to split it up because we'll use some later um, two tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of brown sugar, um, what is this, vanilla, maple syrup, peanut butter, more coconut oil, and then chocolate chips. So if you want to make these granola bars vegan, you'd have to make those um, dairy-free, but that's the only swap. We have a square 9x9 nine nine baking dish, a big bowl to mix in, and then some wax paper, or um, you can use parchment paper if you'd like or just grease your whatever it's called your pan if that's all you have all right any more questions let's try to read these this is hard oh hi everybody okay all right so people making with me grab your mixing bowl and let's get started so first you're gonna add your two cups of old fashioned or gluten-free oats. I haven't tried this with um, instant oats. I'm sure it would work. They just might be a little more soggy, if you don't mind that. <laughs> and then we're gonna add the, what is it? One half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Yes, I'll say the measurements. So that was two cups of old fashioned oats. I have half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So we're gonna add that. So we're adding all the dry ingredients first, and then we'll move on to the rest. This is one teaspoon of cocoa powder. Okay, just any baking cocoa powder you have really drives home the chocolate flavor, which is the best flavor. And then we have, um, <laughs> you guys like my camo. And then we have, um, how much is this? I have my cheat sheet right here. Oh, a third cup of slivered almonds. So you can use chopped almonds, I'm guessing, but these are obviously just a little bit 
They're just in little slices. Okay, so you're gonna mix that together. Mix, 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 till it looks like that. Okay, and then you need a microwave safe little bowl here. So I have one tablespoon of uh, brown sugar here. You can use light or dark brown sugar, whatever you want. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil to that. And then we're gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, okay? So that together, it's going to melt down. Let's see if anyone has any questions. How much cocoa powder? It is one teaspoon cocoa powder. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, where's Ryder? Ryder is working. <laughs> job everyone <laughs> okay perfect so the brown sugar is not gonna dissolve all the way but your coconut oil should be completely translucent so you just mix that up a little bit this is gonna be a bit of a binder for the oats I'll show you this that's what it should look like after you stir it and then we're gonna add this Oh, thanks, Andrew. We're gonna add this to the mixture and then stir that up so that as much as you can get the oats coated in that, in the oil. So it shouldn't be as dry after this. Mix. Cute house. <laughs> she lives here, that's why she thinks it's a cute house too. All right, so to this, we're gonna add the vanilla. We have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can't really see it. Add that. Do a little mix. Okay, and then we are going to add the maple syrup. So this is the stickiest part, or besides the peanut butter, but we have half a cup maple syrup. Whatever kind you have on hand should work um, this one. It's like the amber color. I don't know if you want dark or light. Maple syrup, add that in there. Make sure to get all of it in there. You don't want your granola bars to fall apart when you go to eat them. Like the, does anyone have those Nature Valley bars that just crumble like all over the ground when you open? <laughs> These are not like that, so that's good. Stir it up. Body <laughs> Honey Popo, Ashley just asked about that, is a my favorite Samoan dessert that my dad used to make, or he still makes it, I guess. I will make that maybe on stories. Okay, so maple syrup is in, and now we're gonna add the peanut butter. I'm sure this would be really good with crunchy peanut butter, but I only have creamy peanut butter, so we're gonna use that. Gonna scoop that in. And the measurements, this is half a cup peanut butter. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know it's kind of strange trying to measure it because it's so sticky. So just do your best. You won't be able to get all of it in there, but do what you can. Oh, there's my dad. Thanks, dad. <laughs> okay, this is the most important stirring part. So you want every single one of these oats to get coated in peanut butter, and obviously it's super sticky, so it takes a little bit of time to work in. Um, just be patient and it'll probably take you like one to two minutes let's see it's going to be like a big glob of peanut butter here so you really want to work it into all of those I don't even know if you can see that but and like I said if you have any questions about these granola bars about cooking in general about me I know we have a lot of there's some water polo people out here if you have any water polo questions can try to answer them. <laughs> so keep stirring. Trust me when I tell you you need to stir this really, really well. 
or oats. You'll have oats flying everywhere when you go to eat them. All right. Perfect. So you should see that they're starting to stick together more in the bottom of the bowl. I'll show you this. Okay, so all of the oats are coated in the peanut butter. They're starting to skip, stick together, stick to the spatula. Okay, that's what you want. Coat those oats. Yeah. Coat those oats. That's a good trending. All right. When did I start playing water polo? Oh, gosh. Um, I was nine years old when I went to my first practice, and then I thought it was the worst thing ever, so I didn't go back for another month. And then my sister joined, and she really liked it, so my mom made me go after that. <laughs> and then it ended up working out. Okay, so now we're going to pop this in the microwave. So we have a fourth cup chocolate chips. This is where you can add dairy-free ones if you want these to be vegan. And then um, half a tablespoon of coconut oil. So you're going to mix those together. Not really mix, just put them in the same thing. And then microwave for 30 seconds. start playing what's my favorite food oh gosh if you know me you know I like everything I'm a sucker for Chinese food though though I do love Chinese food post water pool practice meal or snack um when I was in college I ate overnight oats every single morning after practice um the recipe is on my blog it's super easy you mix everything together the night before put it in the fridge and then it's super portable so you just take it with you. Um, super yummy. You can uh, top it with fruit. You can put peanut butter in it, almond butter, whatever you have. Um, I'd say that's my favorite. Okay, so when you take it out of the microwave, it's not going to be fully melted. This is where you use a fork and just start stirring until it melts. The coconut oil will be melted but the chocolate won't. So you see as you start stirring, it gets, it keeps melting. You just don't want to blast it in the microwave because you don't want the chocolate to burn. Because that does not taste good. Let's see. Hi everybody. Just keep stirring. Perfect. All right, so that's going to finish melting as we do the next step, but it should start getting like nice and drizzly. So to your square pan, something similar to this size, okay, you're going to line it with a piece of wax paper or parchment paper. But the trick for these granola bars especially is you want, here, I'll show you this in a second. So you're going to line the pan like this, but you want to leave a little bit sticking out on both sides because these are going to be the handles that you lift the whole piece of granola out at once. Okay, once they're done. So if you don't, then you're going to be trying to like dig it out and then they're going to break apart. So if you have these little handles, you can see it'll help you lift the whole thing out later. Your future self will thank you. So now we're going to put the entire granola mix into this dish. All of it in there. All right, and then using your spatula or your hands, whatever is less sticky, okay, you're just gonna start working it around the pan and make sure um, it ends up in one even layer. Um, unless you want lumpy granola bars, but to each their own. Whatever you want, get it all into every corner. All right, it's kind of loud. Jeez. Press it down. And you want to press as tightly as you can or as hard as you can so that the oats actually are forced to stick together instead of just like laying there. With my left arm. No, I'm it's selfie. This is selfie mode, so everything is backwards. I'm right-handed. Alright. So it should look like this. Oh, 
Oh gosh, what did I just do? There we go. It should look like that, okay? It's one even layer. It's all pressed into all the corners, okay? And then obviously is lined with this wax paper to make your life a lot easier later on. So now your chocolate should be fully melted by now, okay? The trick is the coconut oil makes it nice and smooth like a chocolate sauce. So you're gonna use the fork that you stirred with and then drizzle it over the granola bars. Just go back and forth, random, whatever you can do, figure eights, circles, whatever you want. And then you can add as much chocolate as you'd like. You probably won't use all of this, um, but it's up to you. See, however much chocolate you'd like. Does tin foil work? Um, I haven't personally tried it, but tin foil should work as long as you, I would rub some coconut oil on it just so it's less sticky. Um, let me know how it goes though. I haven't tried that yet. I feel like putting a lot of chocolate on these ones. And then if you have any leftover chocolate, this is a really good dipping sauce for fruit or cookies. <laughs> Whatever you like with chocolate, you can dip in there. That's why you make extra. All right, so this is what the finished product should look like. Well, not finished, but this is how you put it in the fridge. And this is what I mean by using the wax paper to lift it out. You can never have too much chocolate too. So this whole square is gonna come out at once when it's done in the refrigerator. So you're gonna lift on these tabs, pull it out, and then you just cut one across and then however many bars you want the other way. So put this in the fridge. If you can find room. All right, so you want to refrigerate those for one hour at least. Um, and then you can keep them in an airtight, an airtight container for probably about a week. So I made these the other day and I wanted to show you the finished product. So I cut them into little granola bars. Okay, it makes about 12 to 14 depending on how thick you end up cutting them. Um, but they're super good. Oops. Mmm. This is what you have to look forward to. So. Excuse me. <laughs> so that my easy recipe for granola bars very little cooking um put it in the fridge you wait one hour and then you have a snack for the whole week so let me know if you guys have any more questions um other than that it's pretty quick but that's all you need so i'll wait here and see if anyone has any questions but thanks for joining that was really fun i hope you enjoy them the recipe is on, if you click on my account and go to the link in my bio, um, you can click on that and then it'll take you directly to my website if you click on whichever picture of the recipe you want. So the granola bars are the latest one um, I posted this morning. Click on that, you can get the full recipe and directions. Um, and let me know if you make them. Send me a photo, post a photo, tag me in it. Um, I love seeing you guys make my recipes. So. That's it. <laughs>